Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to hear energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Amy. On it all! And we have Stuart. Hello. Stuart's a little <laughs> bit cranky, because we woke him up after his little holiday down to Sydney Supernova. So, aren't you, Stuart? Err. Uh. <laughs> Worst cranky ever. Anyway. Well, we did... Did make him do E3, then he went to Supernova, so... <laughs> He's like, I need sleep! Any amount of sleep would be good. <laughs> so, anyway. This week, we are talking about Supernova Wrap-Up. That's why we dragged him out of bed to let us know what happened down there. We are also covering the, for the rest of E3, which we missed out on last week because the podcast aired right in the middle of it. Um, so, looking forward to some of the cool stuff out of the back of that. And last but not least, what we expect from Independence Day. So, yeah, that comes out in 48 hours. So, should be interesting, considering the press haven't been allowed to watch it. There's almost no reviews online, so it's a very interesting sort of strategy. The silence before the storm, storm strategy always works. <laughs> like, never. Um, so... Anyway, first things first, I, there's no easy way to say it, but this episode is dedicated to, um, god damn it, I had his name here a second ago, my laptop restarted a minute ago. What's his name, Stuart? Oh, uh, uh, Anton. Anton, yes, Anton, also uh, known as Chekhov. Chekhov. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, a couple of days ago, he passed away in a accident, which was pretty much Jeep's fault. Um, based on what I've heard, they made a faulty piece of crap of a car, he parked it on a hill, thought it was in park, but it was actually in neutral, rolled down the hill, pinned him against the gate. It's one of those really, really nasty way to go sort of things. Um, so, anyway, this episode's dedicated to him, we will miss him, we thought he was one of the best parts of the new Star Trek stuff. And he will be sorely missed if they continue it. Please don't continue it. That's not the point. <laughs> so, anyway. Sorry, I'm still really sort of sad about that. He was really yeah, good. Yeah, that was... I, I woke up to that news. I woke up and was like... And Joe was like, check us out. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I jumped on my phone immediately. I was like, what the hell? I woke up for work. And it had broke about five minutes before I woke up. And I was like, no, this has to be a hoax. What the hell? Um, and then from there, it just went absolutely nuts. It just, in the next sort of 15, 20 minutes, everyone was reporting on it. And I was like, holy crap, this can't be a hoax. So, yeah. So, anyway, E3 wrap up. We'll start with that. After, um, so, Stuart, this is all you. It was going to be Sky as well, but... He bailed, so... <laughs> so yeah, uh, E3 finished up uh, last week, and PlayStation... Whoa! <laughs> they dropped some bombs. Shots fired? Beginning... No, no, not really shots fired, just amazing stuff that I didn't know was coming is coming. Excellent. Like what? So, uh, we're getting... A... Uh, New God of War, which looks fantastic. It looks to be set in um, Norse mythology. So, ooh, that's always going to be fun. Because there was a mention of Valhalla in the trailer. I'm like, oh, we're going Norse. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. And then so the only downside to that, the Norse ones, is as opposed to the other gods, which people tend to not really get, care that much about. People still seem to like the Norse gods. So there's been a massive resurgence in the last sort of 
20 to 50 years in sort of popularity to the Norse gods with as so far as them actually having an active temple to those gods again in Norway, mm-hmm. which I find hilarious on every level. So yeah, that was uh, that was what they opened with. Uh, we then went into VR. I'm just going to try and remember because I actually don't have any notes up, so I'm just trying to remember the panel. Uh, there wasn't like they didn't actually do much talking. It was mainly just showing trailers, which is actually really good. Good. Yeah, because no one likes people boring talks about anything. Microsoft. Shots fired. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, then we went into VR. They announced a new uh, announced uh, Resident Evil Seven. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, yes, uh, my personal favorite. We get Star Wars VR. Yay! Now the Star Trek VR um, looks spectacular. Star Wars the VR Star Wars makes it look like a kiddie pool. Yeah. Uh, the, the, between what, Star, Star Trek, Trek is... one or the. Star Wars. Oh no, Star Wars one looks fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Star Wars one looks like you're literally in the movies. So, the only downside to the Star Wars one is I see you smashing everything in a room while playing that. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just everything in every room is just going to be broken. Like, the way we're going, I'm <laughs> like, we're going to have to have a dedicated VR room in our houses soon. It's like a holodeck. <laughs> just to make sure shit doesn't get broken in the lounge room. Like, when I get my house, I'm going to have a whole room dedicated to just VR. Just a 3x3 three three room. Um, with a cupboard. So it's effectively a bedroom. I'll just be repurposing a bedroom. Put all of the hu- the sort of the monitor and s- the, the tower and that in the cupboard where it's not going to get damaged. And then that whole room is just for VR. That way I can play four-player VR Star Trek. Which would be awesome. <laughs> that does look cool, actually. I like. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, what else is there? Uh, oh yeah, this made me full on uh, freak out. Remastered Crash Bandicoot one, two, and three. Yes. Okay. Oh, Crash Bandicoot. Th- that full on. Like I heard the music and I was like, Crash! <laughs> and your neighbor's like, Shut up! It's one in the morning. It's like I don't care. It's Crash no, this Bandicoot. Is a- actually, it was actually it was at um. The sun was actually at 11 a.m., so I could actually be loud. Woo! And the cool thing is, Jody actually got to watch him as well, so she freaked out as well. Excellent. Uh, what else have we got from uh, PlayStation? Uh, oh yeah, Hideo Kojima's got a new game. For those who don't know, he's the he was the uh, creative mastermind behind the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Nice. Didn't Metal Gear didn't Metal Gear get a little bit sort of repetitive by the end? Fight your way through well, not necessarily fight, sneak your way past all of the bad guys until you fight a giant metal robot at the end. <laughs> that was more Konami. Konami kinda took over and a lot of people weren't happy about it, so yeah. Damn it, Konami. Uh just trying to think if I miss anything else major from PlayStation. Uh, no, I think that's about it. I don't, can't think of anything else major from PlayStation. Now we move on to Nintendo. And oh my god, New Zelda is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and Stuart is drooling. Yes. I'm just debating whether I'm gonna. I'm just debating because I know the NX is coming out next year in, May, in March, so I'm just debating whether I'm gonna wait or get it or just get it with you and get it now. You're gonna wait. Probably am knowing me. Well, no, 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 no. The reason you. the reason you're gonna wait is because you don't have the money because you're getting married to your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate being that guy, Stuart, but sometimes I gotta be that guy. Uh, so, anyway. But, what other stuff? So, yeah, um, and we actually have a title for him now. 
because it's always just known as Zelda is as either like New Le- Legend of Zelda or Zelda U. It's actually called the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Please Which tell makes... me that one of the secret items in there is Breath Spray. <laughs> well, it makes sense after what we've shown because they've completely overhauled the entire system. Nice. Whereas before you actually had clothes, now you can actually do it. The clothes actually give you armor and stats. Oh, nice. I was going to say, now like you can they... run around naked. Ha ha! Take that, oh, yes, survival. you can actually do that. You can actually do that. Nintendo having nudity in their game? I doubt it. it it's not like full nudity, it's just where's boxes. Ah. So, like arc nudity? Yeah, arc level nudity. <laughs> Unmodded yep. arc nudity, I should say. But you can do a full run through without having to wear armor. <laughs> that's going that's that's going to be funny to watch, yeah. especially with speedrunners. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'll be hilarious. that will be like a, a nuzlocke run. You have to use basic weapons and no armor whatsoever to play through the entire game in less than time period X. <laughs> well, the, co- the 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 cool thing with it is um is uh you actually don't start with a with a good weapon, you start with a rusty sword. <laughs> like they, they are full on making you work for your for your master sword this time. About time. Um, and you can uh, you can you can uh, he can parkour. He can climb up trees, up mountains, and stuff. This is Blink, by the way. Oh, I thought you were talking about Zelda by using he. <laughs> this is why I never talk about this with you, because you always do that. I know. Uh, it's not my fault that I was talking... Was a little behind the scenes for Deadliest Fandom. Me and EJ were talking about the battle that we put up this week, which was Spyro versus um, Link. And he kept calling which Link I came, Zelda. Which I came up... The scenario for, which I modified a little bit. Um, Still a good scenario. I know, that was a good scenario. Um, and so, yeah, so we were talking about that, and he kept insisting on calling Link Zelda to the point where he wanted me to change the name of the character in the picture to Zelda. And I'm like, that's not Zelda, that is Link. He's like, yes, but the games are called Zelda, so people know him as Zelda. No, people know him who play the games know him as Link. So I left it as Link. Because, after all, I make the pictures, so suck it. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Moving right along. Yeah. <laughs> that's just a uh, stupid so yeah, thing that happened. So yeah, uh, they're the basically like, they modernised the Zelda franchise, basically, is what they've done with this. It's really going to be Nintendo modernising cool. something? Adapting to I the know. way things happen now and not sort of just rehashing 50-year-old games? I'm scared. And then we got uh, some Sun and Moon news as well. We've got three new Pokemon. One's like a woodpecker. One's a koala? Uh, they're not official yet. It just okay. leaks. This is officially announced. Okay. And if the koala is a real thing. Oh, God. <laughs> So yeah, we got uh, oh, it's like a woodpecker. It's called Picky Peck. Oh God, really? Yeah, that's frog in every way, shape, and form. Keep going. Uh, there's uh, like a mongoose called uh, Zungoose. So it's <laughs> so it's spelled um, Z U N G O O S. They didn't even put the E on it. Isn't there already a, like a mongoose thing? Yeah. yeah. Do they care? And then, no. and then there's like a weird bug thing. There's like a horn beetle. It's kind of like a horn beetle sort of thing. Oh, okay. Maybe bug so will like actually Carapos. be able to do something in this. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, bug. Just, just no. They're bug. Can you imagine that? An entire Pokemon game themed around bugs. Oh. It's please like, no. It's pretty much every battle you go into, you're screwed. <laughs> So. Depends how you train them. And uh, there's going to be a new battle. Uh, you know how like, there's like double battles and triple battles and stuff? Yeah. 
Yeah, you can have four battle, four way battle. Yeah, yeah. Now we can have a battle royale, or it's a four way <laughs> free for all. Really? Yep. Yep. <sighs> that sounds like which it's going to be badly. Which means you know there's going to be a gym like that. Yep. Not only is there going to be a gym like that, god damn it, now you've got to try and keep all four guys on your team at, relatively speaking, the same level, which is a hell of a lot more grinding. Sigh. This won't stop me from buying Sun or Moon, but that's not the point. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty much the wrap-up for me 3 Um, I saw the thing for E3 for Ark. That was an eh. E3 thing for Ark? There was? I don't, I don't care. They're actually doing an ability so you can actually be the dinosaur. Oh, dear God. So yeah. they're making an official mob mod. Okay, cool. That went, that so went in well. So you go through their life cycles. People are just going to abuse that just to kill other people and raid and stuff. Yeah. That's not going to end well. So, uh, Anyway, moving on to Supernova Sydney! <laughs> so yeah, uh, me and Jodie flew down last Thursday. Wait, 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 wait just two, two seconds, Supernova. two seconds. Um, there's just, just two seconds. Two seconds. Do, do, do. Please stand by. Minor technical issues. Oh, look who finally decided to join. We have yep. a sky! Yeah. A hilariously just yes. after we finished talking about E3. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well. well, we'll see if you remember anything extra. Anything extra? What did I miss? That's the question. Zelda, the... Cover, I cover news. Stuart, go. <laughs> what did you, what did you uh, just well, explain? Uh, Bring Skype to speak uh, really quick. <laughs> uh, Zelda, um, God of War, uh, went through VR, uh, um, Star Wars VR, uh, yep. briefly mentioned uh, Kojima's game, uh, the Crash mm -hmm. re Remaster. I think that was all the major stuff. Crash Remaster for 1, 2, and Warped. Yeah, no, I said... Yeah. Stuart, all of a sudden, you're dropping in and out randomly. Oh, I don't know. It's probably because I'm tired. No, no, um, it, it's just... Let's see, what else was there? Yeah. Hmm? I know, it's just... Stuart is just going... Eh, 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 like he's got no bandwidth all of a sudden. So. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, go Sky, go. Um... Bethesda VR. Did you mention uh, that? Co covered that. Like, I covered that before. Yeah. All right. On last week's. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Doom. Um, yes, Doom looks amazing. And the new Stamina Up updates look great. Finally gets build in hell. Um, Microsoft. They play anywhere program. <laughs> Rip Xbox. Well, yeah. Looks like the final section for Nail Xbox. Nail the coffin. Yeah. Everything's <laughs> going to PC. Yeah, effectively the way it's going to work, for those who don't know, is that Microsoft has been working for the past few years to bring the Xbox One operating system and the Windows 10 operating system to make them cross-compatible. And it's reached the point where the Xbox Ones are now effectively running Windows 10, which is why a lot of people are like, Xbox One, what the fuck are you doing to me? Um, because they're running Windows 10, instead of an actual proper dedicated OS. So what that means is Which... that Microsoft is trying to set it up so you can play your Xbox games on your PC, as well as on your Xbox. And there's good sides and bad sides to that. The, sort of a good thing to that is that PC users should be able to up the, the graphics on it. The downside being that is effectively the death of PC gaming, as we know it. You mean more Xbox gaming. Xbox gaming? Yeah, same yeah. difference. It's it's effectively the death of Xbox Xbox. and PC independent How much gaming. Death of gaming. Put it that way. Because well, yeah, for the yeah. independence, it... yeah. That, but let's be honest here. I'd rather play Forza Horizon Three on my PC than an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I can't wait for the new the New Horizon three, set in Australia. About time. Took them long enough. I'm so getting that. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, <Get> mate. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it on the Windows Store, so that at least they'll have it on Xbox as well. Yeah. Well, do you hear what the issues uh, yeah. they've been having with the Windows Store? <clears throat> no. Oh, it's so funny. When Tomb Raider first came out, right? They were expecting to oh, sell... Back then, yeah. They had all sorts of issues trying to ins- get that to install through the Windows Store. Steam sold something like 700,000 copies, and the Windows Store sold less than 20. And... Like 20,000. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Microsoft's scratching its head going, Why aren't more people using our game store? I know. Let's make it even harder to use. It's like, Guys, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I understand the concept, but like with a lot of things that you like to do, you think it's a really good idea, and you implement it, and everyone's just like, this is stupid, why are you forcing us to do this? And they're like, no, it's not, it's great, here, do, we'll force you to do it even more. And it's like, no, just stop, leave us alone. <laughs> I'm waiting for Windows just right. to stop supporting Steam. Just because that's what the way Microsoft is heading. It's like, you have to buy it through the Microsoft Store, or it doesn't count, damn it. Well, it doesn't count to your Xbox as well. I think that's what they're trying to get along here. Yeah. That's why they're releasing a hell of a lot of games on it now. Yeah. But, at least they're trying. Yeah. And Halo Wars 2, that looks... Oh, yes. Oh. I had, um, on the the Wednesday, I think it was... I had a match of that, and yeah, it brings back memories. Still the same base building, build your army and sh- go out and shit. But yeah, it feels more defined. Nice. So, so here's yeah, a question for you: Do you PC. think the traffic is going to be on the the proper side of the road in Horizons Three? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Depends on who built the um, game, if it's American or, or Oh, I see. So it's so where they're setting it, I'm looking at some of the screen grabs for it. Looks like they've set it on the uh, down south. Yeah. Along the yeah. right. Which is a good area for it, because it's just crap tons of empty space down there. Um, yeah. And the features, like the drop-in, drop-out features are great. Oh, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be really cool. Like, I wouldn't want my friends dropping out in the middle of our race, but yeah, the thing that I know. the thing that I don't like is if if there's a drop in drop out feature, if someone's losing by a lot, they're just gonna fuck off into the distance. But it's with your friends. That's the point. Yeah. I think they were trying to make with the drop in drop out. Um, it's not against other people that see a drop in drop out. Okay. So. And I believe they might have a little bit from a banding. Depending on like how they decide to do the active multiplayer outside yeah. of your friends. Yeah. So I like to play those games single player anyway. It's more fun. Mm. Yeah. I, I love watching other people's derpy AIs do derpy shit. <laughs> yeah, that that was that was great in Forza Five. <laughs> I would always beat Hawk, apparently. My AI was brilliant. Uh. <laughs> uh, in in Forza 5, um, one of my mates, what he did was just so that he'd have a really derpy AI and just to test what the AI learning was like, he put a rubber band yeah. around his, his accelerator and a rubber band around his brake and then l- just left it there for an hour. And <laughs> it, it was just bouncing randomly around the track and eventually it, it finished after about like 40 minutes. It actually finished three laps of um, the track that's up in the mountains. Yeah. Uh, Mount Panorama. No, no, not Mount Panorama. No. The, the 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 one that's in the snowy mountains, the Alps, somewhere overseas. Oh. Um, the, the, with the big lake and there's a little town and yeah, there's a tunnel. I can't think of what it's called. I haven't played that in ages. But anyway, point is. Yeah. The next time I raced his AI. It just sat on the start line doing a burnout. <laughs> and that is pretty much how it raced. <laughs> oh, like, well. <laughs> well, that's not the name of Forza. 
was like, that's, that is hilarious and broken, and I love it. So what we really need to do is organize a group of, like, hundreds and hundreds of people just to, for the first three weeks they're playing the game, just do burnouts everywhere. Just all they do, they just, yep. just race to do burnouts and just see whose derpy AI wins. Be great. Well, well, that's, like, also the thing. we got to see how their AI work, yeah. whether it's still the Forza 5 model or if it's um, changed. Yeah. So, so. I've anyway. got no idea. <laughs> Anyway, time to move on to Supernova Sydney. Supernova Sydney. And Sky, you can hang around because after this we're talking Independence Day and what we expect yep. to see. So, Not a problem. All right, so yeah, as, as I said before, we were rudely interrupted by Sky. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Me and Jody uh, flew down uh, Thursday. Yes. Last Thursday for, uh, for Sydney Supernova. Ooh, oh, my tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I was going to come up and get Deadpool off you today, but I'm going to leave it about a week. Okay. So, that way you can sleep today. No, I'm going to go and do shopping. <laughs> <laughs> that too. It's all right, when you get back from shopping. Yeah. And then you've got to do cleaning. And then when you finish the cleaning, you've got to do this. So, when you finish that... That it's like one in the morning and you're like, uh Oh no, I'm not gonna stand up that late. <laughs> it's got Origin to watch tonight. There's no way I'm gonna go that late. It's Origin in bed. Uh. Oh, it's Origin tonight? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boy. Yay, my Shows how far behind gonna... I am. Neighbors are gonna be making all of the noise. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna be making all the noise. <laughs> I, I I there's a different side of me that comes out. Yeah. I d I, I really don't care about football. Anyway. Supernova Sydney. Back on topic. So, um, Supernova Sydney. So yeah, weather was miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why Sydney everyone was inside? Pardon me. Yeah. Oh, that was. You know what was horrible about that on on the Friday? Because I got um shit while the because I got super queue and they going early. On Friday, half an hour before they were meant to open, there was still pallets on the floor. Wow. <laughs> So, Damn. I heard that there was a Ghostbusters display there that was practically abandoned the entire time. Oh, I went to saw it. I went to see it. It's actually really cool. So yeah, it was Wait, Ghostbusters. Ah, uh, Jody did. So I'll have to get I'll have to get her photos and put on. But basically, they had they actually had suits from the films as well as some of the props they used. No, that's not. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But still, it's it's it's. Them Ghostbusters, so. <laughs> I find out. I find it funny who they have as an intern in that, though. Yeah, Thor. Huh? Chris Hemsworth, yeah. Oh, yeah, Chris Hemsworth, yeah. yeah. That, that, when I saw that, I was just laughing my head off. Yeah, I was just like, why? The only reason you got Chris Hemsworth is so that you've got an, a, a big name actor and you make him a fucking secretary. Great skills, guys. You've totally role reversed every character in this movie. Congratulations. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see that, though. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, didn't do much Friday. It was mainly just shopping and stuff. Did you catch up with the Garrison 7 guys? I uh, saw Scott Saturday. Saw Scott Saturday? Excellent. Yeah, actually got to see the uh, the inside of the of the, uh, the Titan. Is it, a, is it a sexy? That is a sexy, sexy beast of a car. Truck. <laughs> Oh yeah, thing. it was actually hilarious. Um, when we were lining up on Saturday, as as, as they let us in, Scott let the siren off, <laughs> and I was I just turned to it. I was like, Scott, come on! And I was just here, or, 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 and I was just here through the the the, the um the mic out of the car. Is sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Scott, Scott, the, the guys were awesome. Like. Yes. They had the gear on. Um, there was like a lot of traffic through there, so really awesome for those guys. Yeah. What they did, That's Scott didn't expect anyone of us to be there. <laughs> oh. No, he knew that he knew Stuart was there. I was talking to him about it. I said I was yeah. going to send Stuart over to annoy him. <laughs> then I forgot to tell Stuart um, to go and annoy him. So yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what else? Um, um, uh, oh yeah, so I uh, guess how they're going to try and get the, guess how they're going to get the Titan to our Perth. I'm assuming by train or plane. They are flying it on a Hercules. They're flying it on a Hercules. <laughs> nice. 
Oh God, I hope there's photos <laughs> of that. I literally was like, Scott, how? You, uh, uh, what's the Scott's like? How are you gonna get this thing to Perth? He's like, uh, we're thinking of flying on a Hercules. Like, oh yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Please tell that'll me it's it. gonna be on one of those parachute things. You fly over the convention center, toss it out the back, and then they drop pop it the off. parachutes, <laughs> and it just lands in the car park. <laughs> That'd be great. I could see him doing uh -huh. that though. I really could. <laughs> That's great. Uh -huh. oh, th yeah, no, they got, they got like tons of traffic through. I couldn't get to that panel sadly because photos were running late. Yeah. As usual. So did you get your cheese TV photo? Yes, yes, I did. Excellent. Cheese TV photo? Yeah, the cheese TV yeah. guys were there. Oh wow. That's amazing. Yeah, they are yeah, Comic Con they, too. They're doing every they're awesome. Supernova Comic Con for like next little while. This, yeah, yeah, they're doing the full tour. So they'll oh, be wow. in Bristol. They'll be at Bristol. Sweet. Yeah. I'll actually yeah, get my awesome. side. Yeah, they're so funny. They are all and they we had so much fun. Actually I had so much fun with our photo. I'll post the photo later. But we did a we did a what photo we were like, huh? Eh? I remember, I've, I've seen them post up photos on their Facebook of them freaking out because they're music, meeting the voices of Vegeta and stuff, and it's like, oh my god, I haven't seen these guys since they came on and did a, like, a guest spot <laughs> on the show, like, oh, 20 oh, years oh, ago. Oh. Speaking of, speaking of Vegeta, I had a funny moment with him. Oh god. So oh, I, I wanted to get my DVD to sign, I was like, Vegeta, Vegeta, like, I tried to do a nap, I did a nap, I was like, Vegeta, Vegeta. Was your favorite character, Vegeta? Like I did TFS Vegeta. Yeah. Oh, Nappa was like Vegeta, Vegeta, and he just turns and he just looks at me, and Vegeta's voice is like, "Shut up, Nappa." <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows the uh, TF he knows the TFS guys. They're really good friends. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you tried to do that with Goku, on the other hand, he probably would have yelled at you because he hates the TFS stuff. With no, no, I didn't do it with him. I didn't do it with him. Yeah. But no, they, they, those guys are awesome. Like they, they, their lines were huge. The whole convention, like there was never an empty line. Yeah, yeah, their did lines are to, always huge. Did you get to go and see Tamara Pierce? No, sadly not. There's like a lot of people I wanted to see. I gotta, gotta catch up. Gotta catch up with some old friends so, which, and uh, learn some really cool news about them. So. I won't spoil that because I'll let them do that when that gets closer to the Brisbane. But there's some really cool stuff for them. I'm really happy about. So they're getting married to their cosplay stuff. No, 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 no. They're brother and sister, so no. <laughs> don't, you, don't you dare make a Game of Thrones reference. Oh, I'm, I'm do, totally do, not. Do, 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 <laughs> Technically, isn't that we royalty know. either way? Hmm. Speaking of Game of Thrones really quick, who's seen it this week? Oh, that episode. Oh, yes. That was brilliant. I Put it this way. My mate can't... He lives in the middle of nowhere. He drives like an hour and a half to and from work every day. Not joking. Um, at the end of every season, he gets it off one of the other guys at work. Now, he's only got four gigs a month. I said to him, I don't give a shit about your DL limit. You get it, or you come to my house, and I will give it to you. You need to watch this, this minute. That is how awesome this is. He was like, his response was like, 12 hours later, was like, so you liked it? I'm like, just get your ass over here so I can give you the fucking USB. <laughs> <laughs> that so, was the, very nice. My favorite shot of that is like, when, is, um, is when he's, is like, when John, like, he's holding the sword, and he's just, all the horses running out, I'm like, yeah. That is a badass shot. Yeah, that's a moment where it's like, oh, this is gonna end bad for me. Oh. Like as soon as he turned, as soon as he led, as soon as um, the other guy rocked up with the rope, I'm like, yeah, he's got the, he's got the brother. As soon as he pulled out yeah. the knife, I'm like, he's gonna cut Sorry, the ropes Rick, uh... and tell him to run, and then he's just gonna get shot <clears> down <throat> with a bow and arrow in like seconds, and that's pretty much exactly what happened. And the whole time, John's yeah. just sort of running out there to try and save him. It's like, don't do it. It's a trap, you moron. You you need... Rule one in combat. Don't charge the enemy on your fucking own. You bait it into a trap. It's pretty much guaranteed. And then right at the end, you've got the Gandalf moment. I won't With say, won't Sansa. Say, yeah, yeah, exactly. I won't, Don't say too much. Just finger. in case some people haven't sort of seen it. So, But yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, right, so going yeah. back to going back to Supernova. Go yeah. back to Supernova. Sunday. 
Oh my god, Travis Fimmel's, Travis Fimmel's panel was one of the funniest panels I've ever been to in my convention years. Uh, now I, For those who don't know, he's um, Ragnar Lothbrok in um, Vikings and Anduin, uh, Lothar Anduin in Warcraft. Nice. Oh yes. His a panel... A mixed oh. reviews about Warcraft. Lots and lots of mixed reviews. Mixed reviews, but it's made over $500 million, so... Yeah. Say what you I'm going to see it this Saturday. Yeah, I'm. I'm planning on watching Independence Day on Thursday, and that's my money for the week's gone. So, uh, don't know if I'll see Independence Day Thursday, but I'll definitely see it like this weekend for sure. Just depending how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> Depends how much energy you have. Yeah. So well, but yeah. Um, his his panel his, his panel was hilarious. The, the amount of proposals. <laughs> oh, also, he was extremely hungover from the VIP party the night before. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun. Mm. Yeah, because I had Scott a... was after that? Scott wasn't too bad. No one knew as bad as Travis. Travis was just red. <laughs> 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 he was just red in the face and just bloodshot eyes. Oh, okay, I only had... Uh, uh, how many cakes did I have? <laughs> Four? Oh, I'm pretty sure I only had one. <laughs> Sorry. So that is close yeah, to his panel is hilarious. The Deadpool guys, the Deadpool, um, Brianna Hillebrand is tiny. Yeah. No, no, but like, really tiny. <laughs> like, shorter than you, tiny? Shorter than my friend, who's like under five foot tiny. Wow! Wow! That is impressively small. Yeah. And uh, Stefan Kapicic, his hands are gigantic. Like when I um got the, your DVD signed, he he, he was shaking his hand. I lost my hand. <laughs> 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 my hand just disappeared. I was like, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that awkward moment when you, you feel like a four year old. Or... Yes, I did say that. Loud. I was like, my hand's gone. <laughs> what was his response to that? In Colossus's voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 but no, no like the, he was he was so like such a nice dude. Oh yeah. So they, it, like um there was I don't know if you saw a photo or not, but uh, a kid did a um a Colossus cosplay. And went up and saw him. <laughs> nice, nice. And I then um, well, he, and he put it on Instagram, and it's like mini Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> mini Colossus. Uh, nice. Uh, what else do we got to? Yeah. Uh oh, critical hit, critical hit, are cool. So critical hit are guys that compose music for video games. Okay. Notably, one of them has done music for StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and League of Legends. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they had a panel on... They had a panel on... Um, they had a concert on Saturday, which I missed, but they had one on Sunday, which I got to go watch. And they also had a panel beforehand. And while, and this is... So they asked, uh, what made them want to do this? I guess, who, guess what the answer was. Dragon Ball Z? Hmm. John Williams. <laughs> nice. Fair enough. That'll do it. They, they, um, it's like, yep, that that explains a lot. The, 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 um, their answer was, they were watching um, Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park in 1993. Yeah. And they were like, and it was like, so this guy gets paid millions of dollars to make music? Yeah. I yeah. want to do his job. <laughs> and Jurassic Park 3 is one of my favorite movie soundtracks of all time. To me, that oh, no, this is the original one that I'm talking about. Yeah, I, that's what I thought I meant. The, the original Jurassic Park, not Jurassic Park Three, but the original Jurassic Park. Is, that's what I meant. Jurassic Park Three. I deleted that from my memory. <laughs> not the point. The original Jurassic Park soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks of all time. I rate it higher than the Star Wars soundtrack. Ooh. Those are fighting words there. <laughs> how, how to piss off two people in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, actually, no. We ha we did a really. There's a really funny joke that was said on um at the panel when they were talking about music. It's like, so, uh, um, they're talk uh, talking about um uh, like what they would want to do. And it's like, 
How about we did Star Wars music in Star Trek? Everyone, was, everyone just went silent, uh, and, and then they're like, now that's how you piss off two fandoms at once. I was like, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Have you seen? And there, so, yeah, there's actually they, a video you know, online where people have got the new reboot Star Trek, and just redone use the st- original series Star Wars movies soundtrack over the characters. Like you've got Khan, he's yeah. walking, and it's got the Darth Vader theme. It's like, ooh, we up there pissing off some people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then um, they had about a half hour panel, and they do a setup for their concert, and then they had an hour long concert. And it was awesome. Nice. And they, oh, that would have been great. Yeah, it was it was great. They did uh they did uh Super Mario, they did Metal Gear, they did uh, Legend of Zelda, which made me cry because they did Zelda's lullaby. I was I always get a tear when I hear that. <laughs> uh, what else they did? They did uh they did World of Warcraft music, like they just kind of went through like a whole bunch of stuff. So it was. And so uh, what they had, they had um, they had uh, they had a drummer. There was a, a violinist, an electric uh, electric cello. Sorry. Hmm. Very and nice. Two keyb- and then two keyboards with synthesizers on top of them. So. Nice. So. Sweet. So anyway. So yeah, that was a, that was that was an awesome panel. And then to finish off the day, we went and saw uh, Sean Astin. Nice. So yeah, all in all, uh, good. Uh, I don't really have any problems. I think the only main issue was just the start one. That, when a bit of it was a bit unorganized, but other than that, I didn't really have any problems with it. Numbers were fine throughout um, the weekend as well. So, do they max capacity like yeah. they do on the Gold Coast? I don't think it was max capacity. Because that's always funny on the Gold Coast. They hit max capacity oh, at like 11 o'clock in the morning and they're like, well, shit, we can only let people in as fast as they come out. <laughs> I don't think it was max capacity, but I think it was close. Yeah. So, like I'd say a few thousand off. So anyway. Um, so that's a re- our Stewart's recap on Supernova Sydney. We're going to move right along really quickly to our predictions for Independence Day and what we expect to see out of that. Um, we don't have much time left, so let's move right along. So, Stuart, what are you expecting out of Independence Day? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I think I just want to see, I just want to see it do well. Yeah. Uh, what, it doesn't what? need to be, it doesn't need to be fantastically smashing, I just want it to do well. Right. well, I should have said, what do you want to see in Independence Day? <laughs> Would have been a better way of wording the question. Uh, I want to see. You know what I want to see? I want to see a flashback from like about a few years after the um, after the original movie of them working with the alien tech. Them using it on, on that would be cool. They're they're probably going to have that. They mm. um, so yeah. they'll probably start with that or something. Yeah, probably. But that's why I want to see like just to see like how they actually went about go- doing stuff. So. I'm just glad that Data survived. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that was that's a Japanese thing. She's like, wait, isn't he? I thought he died in the first movie. <laughs> it's like clearly not. So. Or they just can't stay dead. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, well, Will, see, my, Will my... Smith survived the first movie, did not survive into the second. Data should have died in the first movie and is magically resurrected for the second one. Because reasons. I think probably they used some sort of alien attack on, on Data. Is what my guess is. Hmm. I hope they explain that then. Honestly. In the first few minutes. Or at least at some point in the movie. My dude. Yeah. Emmerich isn't necessarily known for being Explaining. that. He tends to... Yeah, pretty much. Um, he's become better with his characters over the years. He has, but he's still known for having relatively flat character development. So... Fair enough. Yeah. So what I'm hoping for is that it's going to stand up to the test of time like the first one has. Like, I, I know the destruction's going to be on a cataclysmic level. I, all that stuff's oh, a given. Oh, God, yes. On a given. It's a given. But, and it's, this is meant to set up a third one, so it's probably going to be like um, 
a second Star Wars movie where it ends on a bit of a cliffhanger. Like, it's more than likely, I think... <laughs> one, the... Of the aliens, one of the aliens is like, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. President. Arms flailing randomly. Oh, oh my god, wouldn't that be hilarious? No, 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 you know it'd be great? If the president turns out he was working with the aliens the whole time. <laughs> no. <laughs> wouldn't that... Wouldn't that be the way to end the movie? Is yeah. that the president goes evil? No, I reckon the way that the movie is going to end is this, that scene in the trailer where you see the the aliens breaching that room full of security guards and the security guards opening fire. Ah, oh, cl- cliffhanger. Have that as sort of the ending. And they so, would be shot. So, so yeah, because I know he's already he's already well into pre-production on the new Stargate reboots and the way he's going to be filming these is Independence Day finished Stargate working on Independence Day Stargate Stargate as far as I know so yeah definitely looking forward to it um I am expecting more explosions more kick-ass dogfights but what I don't want to see is just everything bigger I don't want to see um, I, I know that's probably the direction they're going to go, but I, I want to see some actual use of the technology in a way that isn't defensive. I want to see, like, you see it in the trailer, a helicopter that doesn't have rotors. It just floats around. That was That's really cool. That's a use for the technology, which isn't military. That is good. But I want to see other sort of... Medical stuff? Yeah, other te- side, side effects of the technology. If you've got these crashed motherships... What happened to them? 20 years to dismantle something like that. It's going to take a little bit longer than 20 years to tear down a mothership of that size. Like, it's multiple miles worth of ship. Like, the only place I know of that that could be torn down that quick is Africa. Actually, you think about it. You're saying that they're the motherships. Yeah. I think they're not. I think they're like scouters or something. Well, the, the, the way they're putting it now is, the sh- in the first movie, it was meant to represent their whole civilization. Um, is the ship that they destroyed was the mothership, then you've got the city ships, then you've got the fighters. There's also a really brief shot of troop transports. Um, but now what they're saying is, no, that wasn't the whole civilization. That was like the Mayflower. That was the first sort of colony ship that's going to turn up in advance of everything else which is coming behind them. And um, as a result of them getting their ass kicked, everything else sort of stopped and went, well, they got absolutely annihilated, so let's stop and think about this for a minute and come up with a decent plan to wipe these pesky little bastards off the planet. And so that's where this new ship comes in. The new ship is effectively their version of an aircraft carrier. It's their military, their special forces... Um, so instead of having the relatively old attack on of the city destroyers and the fighters that the Mayflower had, that's just what I'm going to call that ship, the, the original ship from Independence Day, um, they're on the new, more advanced, let's say, Enterprise carrier. And as a result, we knew that in 20 years we were not going to gather up to however many hundreds or thousands of years worth of advancements they had on us. But at least we could close the gap a little. The problem is, in that 20 years, they were also making the gap wider. So how much wider did they make it versus how much closer did we bring it is the ultimate question. So... so, so that's going to be the interesting thing. Yeah. So I'm curious as to where they go, and I hope it's just not another sort of destroy-the-world type movie. I hope it's got actual character development, actual story points. That are actually that are that are decent and characters you care for. Like in the first Independence Day, it had characters you cared for. Some of them. The others were just whiny bitches and a drunk guy in a plane, who has since gone absolutely off the, the crazy deep ends of the spectrum. Seriously, the pilot in um the in the original version of Independence Day, he was going to fly his crop duster up there, get escorted by the fighter planes in a bi-wing crop duster, something that can't happen. The fighter jets could not go that slow without stalling and falling out of the fucking sky. And then he was just going to crash the crop duster into the mothership, which is what caused it to to detonate. 
Um, instead, yeah, they they gave him a fighter jet and then made him a drunk guy in a fighter jet, which, to be honest, is not necessarily funnier. the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> Much funnier. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm curious to see if they do anything with his kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know that Will Smith's kids are... No, 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 the drunk guy's kids. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I was just going to say, we know Will Smith's kid is now a fighter pilot himself. Um, but he had, what, the son and the daughter? And the daughter was getting hit on by another boy because she was, what, 12 at the time? Or 14, or whatever the hell old she's meant to be. Who knows? Um, so there's at least sort of a couple of other characters from the original movie they could bring back. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go oh, to yeah. Reading Cinema, so I'm going to go to a good cinema, which gives me the best chance of liking the movie. Um, comfy seats. Comfy seats. Comfy seats. Comfy seats. Yeah. I think the only yeah, com- I hear the, that. The only downside to Reading Cinema is... Sorry, not, not Reading Cinema, Cineplex. Cine, the new Cineplex at Red Bank Plains. Um, Red Bank. It's on the highway there. Um, is The seats are so comfy... It's they start getting uncomfortable after a while because they're just too comfy. If you know what I mean, like your leg starts falling asleep. It's like, oh god, now I've got to move to to sort of wake it all up again. So yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna probably watch that on Thursday over there. So yeah. So Sky, what are, what are you expecting? No, well, what would you honestly? Like to see? Honestly, a little bit of backstory, like in between one and two. Yep. Just for a few minutes at least. Just to kind of bridge the gap. They do have um, the webpage, The War of 96, which I'm going to have a look through today. Which sort of shows okay. all of the main plot points between the original movie and now. So, huh. So, yeah. Alright. Well, I might have a look at that later on today. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Honestly, more story. I'm not sure if I'd be able to handle the um, complete world destruction again. I don't think but, um, Pine can, can handle complete world destruction again. I'd hate to think of how much it costs to re- rebuild the landmarks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I love that quote. The, they love to take out the landmarks. Like, well, I think it's slightly cringeworthy, but... <laughs> oh no, it's, it's a direct joke. It's a, it's one of those self parody moments, where yeah. one of the things that Independence Day was criticised about was that the aliens just targeted landmarks. So whenever aliens invade mm-hmm. in sci-fi, they always target the landmarks, and so that is just a sort of a self parody of sci-fi, making fun of itself. So, yeah. But you think Which... about it. Mm. <laughs> the cost of repairing them all the time. How much it would cost to rebuild Statue of Liberty? Um, oh yeah, that'd be probably impossible to make nowadays. Oh, uh, it wouldn't be impossible to make. It'd be possible to remake um, quite easily. But um, the the problem is that not necessarily the the cost. It'd be the financial ramifications. If you wipe most, like a large chunk of the cities off the face of the planet, and a lot of the that's where most of the population is. Like most of the population on our planet is in cities. So by wiping out a couple of cities, it's you're not talking a couple of million dead. You're talking close to Millions. a billion. So especially if you go to China, mind you, the the super laser could fire anywhere in China and probably wipe out a billion people. So yeah, hashtag China. Yeah. So anyway. Let's do it. I know you're still three yeah. quarters dead. Do you have any news for us this week? Oh, there is some very interesting news that has come out the past couple of days. Yes? So, uh, and this is... So, uh, Grant Gustin with approved... Allowed... By, oh, uh, I know what you're about to mention. Yeah. So yeah, Grant Gustin, given permission from producer Greg Berlanti, has dropped the uh, the season three premiere title, Flashpoint. It's happening, boys. We are getting Flashpoint Paradox. So, some are suspecting that's how they're going to bring Supergirl into the new um, 
into the, the universe. new CD, CW universe. And they expect well, the four-way like, well, crossover well, episode well, will be the the point that that sort of happens. So probably find out more comic Con. Oh yeah. I gotta uh, catch up on, on Flash and Arrow. Oh, you do. Keeping on uh, Arrow on DC News, and we'll move over to Arrow. Season five of Arrow, we are going to have Artemis. And that yeah. is Artemis. Uh, does anyone remember the show Young Justice? Yes. Yeah. She was she was Green Arrow's apprentice in um in Young Justice. Okay. Cool. You'll you'll she, find out. She, her parents are very interesting. Yeah, her, yeah. Her, parents, her parents are evil. Don't know if they're going to do that or not. So yeah, she'll come in in the second episode. Well, he does... He, he, considering his A team has effectively disbanded... He needs a B team. Yeah, he, need, he needs a, a replacement, at the very least, for a second. So... Right, so this and keeping on DC t- uh, on CW uh, DC news, Linda Carter is cast has been cast as the president of the United States on Supergirl season two. Ooh, hmm. that's an issue. Her parent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, my brain just totally yeah. shut down halfway through that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, her first appearance will be the third episode of season two. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it doesn't say how many episodes, but she's going to be in multiple episodes. Yeah. Very nice. So yeah, that's cool. And uh, we got some Power Rangers news and some really interesting news. We now know who Zordon is going to be in Power Rangers. Well, the actor is going to play Zordon. Please. Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. I was going to say, please be James L. Jones. Oh, no, no. That would be no, no. spectacular. Brian... That would be hilarious. Stop. <laughs> but no, no, it's uh, Brian Power Cranston. Rangers, I am your father. Of course, oh, you no. summoned us here to make us into Power Rangers. Of course, what the hell? So yeah, Brian Cranston is going to be Zordon in the, in the 2017 Power Rangers movie. Oh, that should be interesting. Hmm. Didn't know that was even oh. coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is cool as well. We actually got some Justice League news. Ooh. So we know how we actually know how old Barry's going to be in the Justice League movie. Forty six. He's actually still. He's actually still going to be at university. He's going to be uh, twenty three years old. He was born yeah. as, in the movie. He was born on September thirtieth, nineteen ninety two. The reason we know this is because uh, Bruce Wayne is. He's got on a screen of um. He's got a screen up with Barry Allen's student ID card on it. Wow. Bruce has just got full stalker mode. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty much it for major news. So not much news at the moment. No, as I said, we'll get a ton more in about a month's time at Comic Con Comic Con drops. That's oh, when yeah. all the T V shows and st- and Suicide Squad and also we also have Star Wars Celebration in in, in July as well, so Oh yeah. So So a lot of news is gonna be next month. Oh yeah. So next week on the podcast we'll be covering our Independence Day review. So Sky, you're welcome to come back if you've seen it. Um mm-hmm. We're going to be breaking it down and letting you know the, the ins and outs, goods and bads. Uh, check us out on facebook.com slash save sci-fi, facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast. Check out the Deadliest Fandom, uh, where we pit two different characters against each other. Mondays is fantasy, Wednesdays is spaceships slash robots, Fridays is sci-fi characters against each other. Comment who you think would win and why. Uh, check out facebook.com slash garrison7 for all your garrison7 related news there's something really big coming soon can't tell you what as always um, and make sure you check out nobility because nobility is awesome and if you do check out any of those make sure you let them know that save sci-fi sends them the love you can get this podcast off stitcher and itunes and on youtube we, we always put a video version up um, so make sure you give us a like give us a share let us know what you think and We will catch you next time. Bye all.
Say is. Bye, everyone. I got the outro done with 15 seconds left. Yeah, <laughs> I was actually in front of a change. Uh -huh. uh, Professional broadcasting. Stuart, question. It's okay, with, uh, Stuart, it's, we're still live, out... just so you know. <laughs> Bye.